Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Same Boy emulator, which is a very powerful Game Boy, Game Boy Color and Super Game Boy emulator for iPhone and iPad. And this can be installed on the App Store itself, so you don't need to sideload this. It is very intuitive and easy to install. And today I'm going to be showing you how to do that. And the reason that you'd want to be using this instead of, say, something like Delta, which is an alternate Game Boy and Game Boy Advance emulator, is the fact that this has extremely accurate Game Boy and Game Boy Color emulation much more so than Delta and also we have up to 10 minutes of rewind as well which is a feature that Delta lacks. Also compared to something like RetroArch this is also much easier to use it has a beautiful intuitive interface as well. So today I'm going to show you how to go ahead and install this on your iPhone or iPad. So the first thing that we're going to do is to go to the App Store and then we're going to do a search for Same Boy. So this is the Game Boy emulator on the App Store. So what I'm going to do is to leave a link in the description for this emulator, but it's completely free to download. And once we're ready, we're going to press the open button and we're going to open up the emulator. So now what we're going to do is to load up what's called a ROM. So a ROM is a Game Boy file. So you should be ripping these from your own Game Boy. You can also download them from the internet, but for legal reasons, I cannot show you where to actually acquire these ROMs from. But what I've done is actually prepared some files in my files app. So if I go to files here, and if I go to my downloads folder, you'll see I have a couple of Game Boy Color games. So they're .gbc games, one is Tetris, one is Legend of Zelda. If you have multiple emulators installed, for example Delta, if I tap this by default it'll open up in Delta, but what I want to do is to open this up in Same Boy. So I'm going to hold down on the actual ROM itself, and then what we're going to do is press the share button, and then within the app selector here we're going to scroll to the right, press on more, and I'm going to scroll down until we find Same Boy. So tap Same Boy here. And then that's going to open up here. It's going to make a copy into the Same Boy folder. If I go back to my library, you'll see that Legend of Zelda is there. So I'm just going to go ahead and import my other game as well. And just, I'll just do the same thing. Hold down, press the share button, copy it over to Same Boy, which has now been listed there. And that means if I tap on the screen, I can go to the library. And now I've got two games listed here now. So my ROM library is getting bigger. I can go ahead now and use this emulator. One of the main features of Same Boy is the fact that we have firstly more accurate Game Boy emulation, but we also have the ability here to swipe left and right in order to fast forward and swipe left to rewind as well. So there's a few options here. If we go back to settings and then we go to emulation, we have the ability to determine how much rewind duration we want to have. It's going to affect the performance a little bit because it's basically recording your gameplay but it's, by default it's up to two minutes and you can change the rewind speed here we can go back 100 percent 200 percent 400 percent etc so i'm just going to go back here and let's say i made a mistake here i don't want that to happen so i've got i can swipe left and then hold down and then it rewinds my gameplay and then i can continue again and uh, put that block in the right place so that's the rewind feature i can also fast forward as well so i want to see myself lose quickly, then that's game over. So one thing to note is that if you wanted to change themes, there's only really two themes that you can use, which are completely free. The rest of them are hidden behind a subscription fee. That's there to really support the developer. So we can't do this unless we support Same Boy to unlock. And then basically you need to pay a cost in order to do so. However, I'd say that this theme is perfectly good. There's no real reason to actually change this. Personally, I'm quite happy with it myself. The other thing to consider as well is that there are options for things like graphical scaling. So if you want to do things like get better graphics filters, you can change the scaling filters to X, for example, to make it look a bit smoother. So let's say, for example, here, this is that 2X filtering. If I go here and do the settings, I can change this to say, I can change this to like anti-alias scale for X. And then that's going to make the graphics look a bit uh, more kind of rounded, smoother, slightly less authentic. And of course, we also have the ability to uh, save states. So we can save the state of the entire game. And then we can actually go ahead and load it if we wanted to. Load the state here and 
we can go back to where we were, similar to rewinding and fast forwarding as well. And Same Boy isn't the only emulator you can use on an iPhone now. You can also use RetroArch and PBSSPP as well as others. If you want to find out more, then make sure to check out my YouTube channel and the links in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.